First of all, I think it, it has several different facets. The, the most important is identifying potential student athletes, and that is completely the purview of individual coaches. You know, the recruiting is, is an integral part of you know, building a successful program. And there's, I, I think with that, though, there's a lot of you know, talented basketball players out there. There aren't a lot of talented basketball players who are also really good people who can come in here and um, you know, just do a great job with everything and who I think have a, you know, a real uh, team first mentality, are willing to make sacrifices for their teammates, embrace their roles. Um, it, it's hard to find you know, that, that, that kind of complete package. And, um, we spend a lot of time uh, recruiting with the recruiting. Um, it's a daily conversation and dialogue. Uh, we, uh, we spend you know, a lot of time out on the road recruiting, but we have you know, frequent conversations. Um, you know, we're on the, uh, on the phone quite a bit talking with people about the student athletes that we're recruiting to uh, identify the right situations. The, the, you know, the situations that we feel uh, and the people that we feel are the best fit for St. Michael's, um, St. Michael's College, uh, both athletically, academically, socially. Um, and that's, you know, that's a, a, a pretty intense process. The 21 sports we have here, uh, we only have eight full-time coaches. So it's, it's very challenging for a part-time coach whose salary may be anywhere from three or four or five thousand to maybe ten thousand dollars, who has a uh, you know full-time job out of necessity, it's very difficult for those folks, especially, to find the the time that it takes to recruit because it is a very time-consuming process. The total total recruiting budget for those 19 sports is fifteen thousand dollars. That's what coaches have to work with. That the most that any sport has is $1,500 for recruiting. It's part philosophy. We could, because we're Division II, be giving athletic scholarships across the board. Uh, we, we do not. And um, one of the things that has happened is that the NE10, which as you well know has 16 schools in it, uh, Originally, when the league was, when the conference was formed, I don't know, 25 or 30 years ago, it was the, the, com the competition between schools was much more on an even and equitable basis. There was an agreement, for example, that they would only give scholarships in men's and women's basketball. We're now the only one of the 16 schools that still subscribes to that philosophy. So, um, you know, when our athletes go out on the, the, the soccer pitch or the, you know, lacrosse or baseball, or whatever, they are always playing against some number of opponents um, who are on athletic scholarships. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, it's really important within, um, you know, relative to your, uh, your peer, the peers in your conference, the peer institutions, the peer athletic departments, that, that, that all programs have, um, have comparable resources, um, have, you know, uh, have, you know, in terms of staff, in terms of um, scholarship, in terms of uh, physical resources, um, that, that allows them to compete with the programs in their conference in the Northeast 10. Um, so I, I think that's something that athletic departments always have to be um, pushing towards and moving, you know, moving forward in a direction that allows um, the programs in, in, all, in all sports um, to remain in the ballpark with, with other programs in the conference. Uh, uh, you know, I, I think that's a really um, uh, important aspect in terms of uh, ensuring a competitive, uh, in a competitive department as a whole. Um, without any question, philosophically, St. Michael's College believes strongly in the student athlete. Okay, so, so it's certainly reflected in our graduation rate, which is around 98, 99% for student athletes. We're at um, a lot of schools, even, even schools in our conference. You know, it's, it's 
significantly below that. So there's no question that philosophically, um, the most important thing for, um, and I think it's subscribed to by our coaches as well. Obviously, they all want to get the very best athletes they can. But we say, uh, you know, the bottom line is we have to be absolutely certain because admissions decides really whether they get to come here or not. Um, that we have to be 100% confident that four years after they arrive here, they're going to walk across the stage and get a get a diploma. We don't know how many contests they're going to win in those four years, uh, or how what kind of a contribution they're going to make to their team, but we have to be sure that they're going to make it as a student. I think she's somewhere down south, down about Baton Rouge, but I just can't. Remember no number, a number I can use. Directory don't have it, Central done forgot it. Got to find a number to use.